morning, everyone. Check out the view. Check out the view. Yeah, we are camping. Back at it. Back camping. Really don't have a whole lot of that going on this year. I only have one other reservation. But uh, I do have plans. Uh, we're in talks with somebody else to uh, maybe add another camping trip later in the year. So I look forward to that. It should be exciting. Um, yeah, this is actually the very first campground we ever uh, brought. The old heavy Chevy too. The very first one. This is uh, Isaac Creek. In Alabama, this is a Army Corps of Engineers site, which means that there's a dam, be a hydro plant. Which you might be able to see. I know GoPros aren't the best at distance. Yeah, there's a dam over there. So, uh, our first camping trip ever was supposed to be the Keys, but you know, uh, that little thing called COVID happened, and all that got canceled. <laughs> they closed down that whole section. Man, what a wild! wild year that was and we we're supposed to take delivery of this in March didn't get it till June yeah because the factory closed remember guys remember that video I did I hadn't had the pictures of this being built it was built it was on it was or at least uh it was on the assembly line and then all that happened and we couldn't pick her up Ah, so frustrated. I had started ordering all this stuff. I had the solar panels, the inverters, and the keyless engine. I had so much stuff, so many plans. I hadn't even gone camping yet. <laughs> I had already knew what upgrades I wanted to do this. <sighs> so yeah, uh, this was actually the first place we went camping. So there's not much here in the area. There's literally like nothing to do. So if you're just looking for a quiet place to camp and not do too much, but other than be lazy, this is the perfect spot. Uh, you know, you got like a nice view of the water. Uh, only these sites here kind of have a view of the main stream. Now it does loop around and there are other sites there uh, the water does kind of loop in the back and you can kind of see it but you can't see it from inside your RV right so but look at this I don't know if it's because it's gotten uh, oppressively hot with the heat wave or if the price of gas has driven people from camping but this place is literally empty there's only one other person there, and there's like two other people in the back spots. Now, we'll see how it looks over the weekend, but uh, look at that. It is nice. And so far, it's not uh, too incredibly hot out, so I'll try to get my bike out, do a bit of a ride. Still got to keep up with the exercise. All right, yeah, this is what we're doing. We're camping. Well, we've been having kind of record heat out here. It's been hitting like a hundred. I know some squirrels are out here just like barely moving. 
and one just flopped down right here in the street laid flat whoa until another squirrel bothered it so what i'm doing is i'm trying to put out some water maybe the squirrels will drink it i hope i mean yeah there's a whole lake right here or a river but i don't know how a squirrel will get down there i mean look at it not really just easy for them to go drink for this huh i don't know maybe it's worth a shot i hate to see a little animal suffer there's like nothing really here to drink there's no everything's dry man it hasn't rained in forever so i don't know i don't know maybe there's a little stream back here but they sure do act like they're uh moving slow so i don't know. i'll try not always a bad guy we'll put some nuts out for the squirrels Of course, the dog is going crazy. Hey, this girl. Steak, as it was for dinner. Look at the view. Ah, oh, man. Beautiful sunsets on the river there. Ah, oh, man, I love it. Look at reflecting off heavy Chevy there. Oh, it's gorgeous, guys. That's what I love, man. Look at this. All right. I think the steaks are done. Time to eat. We haven't shown anybody the break single breakfast since we got here. Wow. Look at that. The chef in action. And now we get to have some breakfast. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. Ooh, it's dark in here. All right, guys, breakfast time. So this is probably for more of my seasoned crowd. I want to see how many of you remember this ad campaign I wish there was like a trademark in a year I have not seen that logo in forever now I have one more thing for a lot of you I'm pretty sure there's a certain demographic that has no idea what this is
Look, and there's still even a phone. There's still a phone. Look at that. Oh, I did try it. Yeah, there's no dial tone. It's not hooked up at all. Yeah. Oh, it's kind of neat that one campground, go back to our campground playlist. There was one that still had the old school, like, metal slide that's like 20 feet in the air. Honestly, they upgraded this thing to the more friendly plastic. It's only like five, six feet tall. You know you can't get no speed up with that. Come on, that's... Ah, remember the old school metal playgrounds? You'd get like second degree burns when you get on that stuff in the summertime. Oh, there's the light. All right. Like I said, well, I'm not doing a tour of the campground. We're not doing anything. I'm just kind of minimizing how much I GoPro and video stuff here because we're just trying to enjoy camping. The channel is about life. Not life about the channel. Well, I hope everybody's enjoying. This is not sure not getting a whole lot of views. There's a Ruski and a German. Yeah. I will say one thing. We'll be honest about this. Like the weather has been kind of. Well, it's half. It's been, like, perfect as far as, like, sunny and not rainy for being out here. But it is, like, a heat wave. Like, heat warnings. It's been hitting triple digits. So, it is, like, oppressively hot. <laughs> so, usually we just kind of spend the mornings out here doing something or maybe later in the evening. But it does get to a point... <laughs> where the AC and the RV struggles because we're out like in the full sun so late in the afternoon it starts warming up so I mean it's not bad I mean the AC's blowing you got still got a hard breeze coming on you but it does definitely starts to warm up in there but it's a uh, first time we've had that happen the AC hasn't kept up with the uh, with the outside but we haven't been camping in triple digits with freaking almost 100% humidity so yeah, so you know, just be honest with stuff. I'm not trying to paint everything as a rosy, perfect picture out here. I mean, it's still fun. We're out here, but we spend more time inside than we like because it just gets the point it's so hot. It's just disgusting. <laughs> um, so yeah, we're just watching TV, and enjoy each other's company. That's all we can do. Huddle up in our little Chevy. <laughs> what? What? Yeah, we've been riding our bikes over. We've been taking the bikes out, cruising around. But yeah, it's pretty bad when the National Weather Service puts out heat advisories for the day, so. But it's still pretty. At least we get to sit in the RV and look at the look at the river and all that stuff go by, so. It's not terrible. Another note, I'm not sure if it's the heat or gas prices, but this is a Saturday in a campground there's open spots especially open spots right on the river that's kind of you don't really see that ever and we were here at the same time in 2020 and this campground was packed so. like we are next to the water the spot next to this is open but look at this like here One camper. This is crazy. You know, it's crazy. Uh, with Corona, uh, camping took off. It really went crazy. A lot of people started buying RVs and stuff and camping. And now you got gas at about $5 a gallon. Even if you have a pickup that does decent gas miles, as soon as, as, soon as you strap a trailer on there, you know, it kind of kills that mile per gallon average. So definitely affecting probably affecting people going out camping and traveling and doing stuff so it's either one of two things it's either the heat to keep people home or it's the gas prices and I think it's the gas prices because usually you you book a campground kind of in advance because you want to make sure you get that spot especially in the summertime it's hard to get 
campsites, but man, this is crazy. A weekend at a campground, and this this is like a ghost town, man. It's almost like when we went to the Keys in 2020. We we're walking down Main Street like this. No cars, no traffic. Look, look at this. There's really nobody here. It's like spot, 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 spot. This place is just empty. Crazy. All right, I'm finish uh, walking the dog. Or it gets too hot. Ah, man, we had some much needed rain. Brought a break to the heat. Feels good out here now, man. So last night here, got the grill going. Got to make some pork chops, nice healthy meat. But I just want to say, man, if you're not into camping, maybe it's something you should look into. But let me say this, you know, the purpose of camping, at least the way I view it, it's one, it's a simpler life. Now, yes, I have the motor home and it does make things easy. You have a refrigerator, you have a uh, air conditioner and all that stuff. But you know, most of we did this because we want to travel the country and we don't want to have to have a hotel every night and we don't want to have to, uh, you know, do a lot of stuff. Plus, with like my backs, that we, you know, we went tan camping one year. And yes, I know I tried the Appalachian Trail and the tent didn't work for that either. So we're doing the hammock, but um, yeah, it's just a simpler life. And what I mean by this, I see people come out here camping and they spend hours setting up camp putting out flags by the road happy campers the something family they put lights on the awning of their rv they take lights and they they follow the, the wood that goes all the way around and they'll go down the driveway and they'll go everywhere and they'll put lights up and they'll hang lights out here ah don't do that don't make all this work for you nobody cares nobody's looking at your campsite and wants to see it all lit up you know if you look out here look satellite dish satellite dish another satellite dish did you really you drove all the way out here to watch tv ah uh, you know i mean yeah we have tv in there we could pull up a few things on uh, if need be if we're stuck in there in the rain and that's sufficient to me i don't know like i said just a simpler life you don't need the satellite tv and lights and all this stuff you know it's just a time to connect like me and a wife we're just together here we try not to be too much on the cell phones and just enjoy each other's company and then like this yeah. just enjoy nature that's kind of like what i wanted on the appalachian trail to experience more of this country experience this nature but it's it's physically grueling man it, it is it's tough even people in good shape um after a while it starts taking its toll on your body it's but camping man yeah it's cool whether you know you get into it you tent camp or maybe you get a motor home or a, a rv some type of trailer to come out here do it enjoy it you know, don't go to the RV resorts with swimming pools and pool tables and it's a concrete jungle. Like I said, me and wife, we, we like coming to a federal property like this is. This is Corps of Engineers. Or state, like, you know, we stayed at Swanee River State Park. Uh, we stayed at, at Georgia. Um, I forget the name of them, but they're in our camping playlist. They're all state parks because you know what you have is a lot of greenery. A lot of greener a lot of space i mean yeah it's not i mean you know you're not like miles away from everybody but you have space like here you know we're the end spot like we don't have anybody here so it's a it's really nice so that's what campus should be to me stress relief relax leave the stuff at home just come out here you know and then we got our bikes we ride around uh, we walk the dog we go for a walk Enjoy each other's kind of We have a TV, but we don't use it. The only time we ever really pull that TV out is if it's raining and we're stuck in there for quite a while. Or actually, I guess we have used it a little bit this time because it's just been so hot. It was like just crazy to be outside. But I said, I know the RV makes life easy, and that's kind of the point. But 
um, you know, we're, we're going to travel all over. So, you know, that way we can just spend a day somewhere doing doing this, that, and next thing. We come back to the RV and we're already where we need to be. So it's, it's supposed to, you know, it should save money somewhat. Yeah, it's more money and gas. But when you have your own food and everything in there, too, you're not eating out three times a day like you would if you're staying in a hotel. So. Yeah, man, guys, get out there, camp, hike, bike, do something. Get out, enjoy life. All right, so I guess this is going to wrap up the camping vlog. Tomorrow we leave. There's nothing really you want to see. We've got to... I pretty much take care of the outside, which would be, you know, uh, make sure everything out here is put up, the grill's clean and put away, roll up the awning, which is, it's easy, it's power, but bring the leveling jacks up, put the hose away, put the filter, the water pressure regulator, put the uh, surge protector away, roll up the power cord for the RV. You know, I do all the outside stuff, store the bikes on the bike rack. She takes care of all the inside stuff. Um, you know, we got the reflectic. We got the sun shades in the front windows. I take those down, roll them up, store them. She washes the dishes, puts them away, um, empties all the trash cans and all that happy stuff. So we kind of have our little routine when we get out of here. So there you have it so like i said tomorrow we roll out we'll be back home hope you enjoyed the uh, camping vlog here from i'm not even sure monroeville well we're close to monroeville Alabama. isaac creek campground all right take care stay safe and hopefully we'll see you in the next one subscribe if you haven't links down below got you some cool discounts and all that other happy stuff so so then Subscribe if you haven't, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.